Pancreatic Cancer Introduction Pancreatic cancer, or pancreatic carcinoma, usually refers to tumors of the exocrine pancreas, that is, the ductal or acinar cells. This contrasts with pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, which occur in the endocrine pancreas, that is, the endocrine cells. It's currently the fourth most common cause of cancer death in the United States. The incidence increases with age, with an average age at diagnosis of 71 years, and it's associated with a high risk of mortality. Pancreatic cancer is most commonly an adenocarcinoma and is most commonly found in the head of the pancreas. The body of the pancreas is the next most common site. The tail of the pancreas is the least common. Risk factors. Risk factors for pancreatic adenocarcinoma include smoking, chronic pancreatitis, obesity, diabetes, positive family history, especially first-degree relatives. Family history of pancreatic cancer. For example, BRCA2 mutations account for 10% of pancreatic cancer in Ashkenazi Jews. Smoking is the most important environmental risk factor for the development of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma is more common in African Americans, and men are more likely to be affected than women. Two important tumor markers commonly associated with pancreatic cancer are CA199, more specific, and carcinoembryonic antigen. Inherited genetic syndromes associated with an increased risk of pancreatic carcinoma include the following. Hereditary breast and ovarian cancer syndrome, BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutations. Familial pancreatitis, PRSS1 gene. Lynch syndrome, MLH1, MSH2, MSH6, PMS2, or EPCAM gene. Putz Jager syndrome, STK11 gene. Von Hippel Lindau syndrome, VHL gene. Molecular cytogenetics. These four genes are most commonly affected by somatic mutations in this neoplasm KRAS, CDKN2A, P16, TP53, and SMAD4. KRAS is the most common oncogene mutation in pancreatic cancers, overall most common gene mutation. First, an activating mutation of KRAS on chromosome 12P occurs in almost all cases of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. P16, CDKN2A gene, is the most commonly inactivated tumor suppressor gene in pancreatic cancer. Next, a loss of function in the tumor suppressor gene, P16, on chromosome 9P occurs in about 95% of cases. Normally, P16 inhibits the transition from G1 to S phase by inhibiting cyclin-dependent kinase CDK4-6. Inactivation of P16 leads to unregulated cellular proliferation. Loss of P16 is an intermediate step in the progression to pancreatic cancer. An inactivating mutation in the tumor suppressor gene P53 on chromosome 17P occurs in 50 to 75% of pancreatic carcinoma cases. This is considered a late-stage mutation in the progression to pancreatic carcinoma. In addition, a loss of function mutation in DPC4, SMAD4 on chromosome 18Q occurs in approximately 55% of cases. DPC4, conveniently named deleted in pancreatic cancer, locus 4, is important for inhibiting transforming growth factor reliant cellular development. So, inactivation causes unregulated progression to the cell cycle. Clinical Manifestations Pancreatic cancer is usually asymptomatic until it becomes large, invasive, or metastatic. In later stages, patients present with abdominal pain radiating to the back, weight loss, anorexia, migratory thrombophlebitis, known as Trousseau syndrome or the Trousseau sign of malignancy, and obstructive jaundice if it occurs in the head of the pancreas. 
Pancreatic tumors can obstruct or compress the bile duct, resulting in symptoms such as pruritus, dark urine, and pale stools. Clinical presentation of painless and gradually progressive jaundice over the past two to four months, significant weight loss, and palpable, non-tender, globular mass in the right upper abdomen, that is, a palpable gallbladder. Cavussier sign indicates the most likely diagnosis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Painless jaundice is considered pancreatic cancer until proven otherwise. On physical exam, Cavussier sign may be present, painless and large gallbladder accompanied by mild jaundice. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma that is impinged upon the duodenum or stomach is the most common cause of gastric outlet obstruction. Abdominal auscultation of a succession splash for more than three hours after a meal is suggestive of gastric outlet obstruction. This splash is elicited by placing a stethoscope on the upper abdomen and rocking the patient back and forth at the hips. Diagnosis Ultrasound is not as sensitive due to overlying bowel gas and does a poor job of identifying necrosis. Ultrasonography is often unable to reveal the mass, making computerized tomography the first line of investigation in a patient with suspected pancreatic cancer. This patient's CT scan demonstrates a hypodense lesion in the head of the pancreas, which is most consistent with pancreatic carcinoma. Multi-detector computer tomography is the investigation of choice for the evaluation of lesions arising in the pancreas. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, is used more commonly for treatment than diagnosis. Double duct sign on ERCP is highly suggestive of pancreatic head cancer. The common bile duct and the pancreatic duct are also both dilated, which is known as the double duct sign. Serum markers CA199 and carcinoembryonic antigen may be elevated in patients with pancreatic cancer, but are rarely used for diagnosis. Conditions associated with increased serum levels of the tumor marker CA199, malignant. Pancreatic exocrine and neuroendocrine cancers. Biliary cancers. Gallbladder, cholangiocarcinoma, ampullary cancers hepatocellular cancer, gastric, ovarian, and colorectal cancer, less often, lung, breast, and uterine cancer, rare. Benign, acute cholangitis, cirrhosis, and other cholestatic diseases, including gallstones. Microscopy, histologic examination of the mass is required for a true diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma arises from the duct epithelium. Tumor desmoplasia and paraneural invasion are common. Most common site of metastases is the liver. Treatment. The only potentially curative treatment for pancreatic cancer is surgical resection. Because this tumor is located in the head of the pancreas, a pancreatic duodenectomy also known as Whipple procedure, is the necessary operation if the tumor is resectable. <music> Tumors of the head of the pancreas. Pylorus preserving pancreatic duodenectomy or Longmire traversal procedure is preferred. Tumors of the body and tail of the pancreas. Distal pancreatectomy and end block splenectomy is preferred. However, most patients with pancreatic carcinoma present late in the course of the disease, making only 15 to 20 percent of patients candidates for surgical resection. Most common complication of pancreatic duodenectomy is delayed gastric emptying. Most common cause of death following pancreatic duodenectomy is cardiopulmonary complications. In most cases, the cancer is quite advanced at diagnosis, and palliative treatments to improve short-term survival and manage pain may be most appropriate. Options include biliary stenting to prevent jaundice and permanent ablation of the celiac nerves to decrease back pain. 
adjuvant chemo radiotherapy with gemcitabine to sensitize a tumor to radiation has been shown to improve survival, but only surgical resection is potentially curative if the cancer is resectable. Percutaneous biliary drainage will alleviate jaundice that results from biliary obstruction by the pancreatic mass, but it's not a definitive treatment. Adjuvant radiotherapy after surgical resection has been shown to reduce local recurrence rates, but does not improve overall survival. Median survival is less than one year from diagnosis. Pancreatic duodenectomy, Whipple procedure. Pancreatic duodenectomy, commonly known as a Whipple procedure, is most commonly indicated for neoplasms of the head of the pancreas, ampulla of Vader, distal common bile duct, or duodenum. In addition, pancreatic duodenectomy may be performed for cystic neoplasm of the pancreas at high risk for harboring malignancy or for malignant transformation. Far less frequently, the procedure is carried out to manage intractable pain associated with chronic calcific pancreatitis. Pancreatic duodenectomy involves the removal of the head of the pancreas, distal common bile duct, duodenum, and gallbladder. In a classic Whipple procedure, the distal stomach is also removed, whereas in a pylorus preserving pancreatic duodenectomy, it's not. In the adjacent anatomic plate, the gallbladder, antrum of the stomach, head of the pancreas, and duodenum have been separated to call attention to the various relationships, including the blood vessels that must be ligated in this procedure. Image-based discussion. Here's an image of ECRP in a patient with adenocarcinoma in the head of the pancreas. The common bile duct is dilated, proximal to a stricture, in addition, the pancreatic duct is dilated due to obstruction by the tumor. The dilation of both the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct is known as the double duct sign, a finding that is highly suggestive of a malignancy. Here's an image of multi-detector enhanced computer tomography of two different patients, in which ill-defined hypodense sal tumors are present in the head, an uncinate process of the pancreas. Typically, normal pancreatic tissue enhances to a greater extent than do pancreatic adenocarcinomas. Here are coronal and axial images of an integrated PET CT in a patient with a large adenocarcinoma of the head of the pancreas. The axial image demonstrates a lesion in the liver that is highly suspicious for metastatic involvement. Both the primary tumor and the metastatic lesion demonstrate increased uptake of the tracer fluoral deoxyglucose. Here's another histology image of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Image A, well-differentiated, grade 1, carcinoma invading fat. Image B, poorly differentiated, grade 3 carcinoma, is desmoplastic and has a prominent fibrous stroma, hematoxylin and eosin. Here's an image of a fine needle aspirate of pancreatic cancer. A cluster of malignant cells is seen in this aspirate. Here's an image of pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma invading the duodenal submucosa and muscularis. Duodenal mucosa is shown at the top right. The carcinoma is moderately differentiated, hematoxylin and eosin. Here's a CT scan image at the level of the thoracic inlet in a patient with pancreatic carcinoma that demonstrates a left supraclavicular lymph node or Virchow's node. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.